Hi everyone, this is Paul, Prepcoms UK on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and uh, today I'm going for a head stretch. Um, I've been inside for a couple of days and really just needed to get out so uh, today I'm out in the heart of the Essex countryside and uh, it's a bit on the chilly side, it's um, about one degree and I'm just in need of a head stretch just to uh, decompress slightly so uh, I'm going to go find somewhere to go for a walk I've got my brew kit with me and uh, well I guess I'll just talk you through what I do I'll uh, see you when I park up Okay, so I've arrived at where I'm going to go. Uh, this is a footpath next to the Stomari's World War I aerodrome. Um, it's just sort of uh, south of Chelmsford, if you ever want to find it. And uh, I found a bridle way here. I'm going to go for a walk and see what I can find. See if we can get you some views of the old World War I buildings while we're at it. It's difficult to see through the trees, but uh, there's a World War I building just beyond here. Um, it's not somewhere that I'm allowed to go into, it's private land. Uh, but it appears to be uh, like an old mess building. Lots of asbestos there. Um, I guess the idea of a head stretch is really just to decompress. Um, in, in our lives we get a lot of stress, uh, anxiety, we get wound up. And uh, it's certainly very true for ex-military guys. I, I spent eight years in the RAF. Uh, some of it was great, some of it not so great. Um, so I just enjoy getting out into the countryside really sounds of uh, shotguns going off in the background that's helpful uh, um, so what I tend to find that works for me it's very much similar to uh, the headspace system It's about becoming aware of what you're doing what's going on around you um, letting go a little bit then focusing on thoughts again so what works for me is a walk of at least five minutes. Um, you can do it during your lunch break or whatever. Uh, but today, obviously, I'm going to stretch it out a little. Um, and focus on what's going on around you. And by focusing on those things, you forget about other stuff that's happening in life. So, for instance, I'm out here, you know, actually start thinking about how chilly it is, how that feels against your skin, how it makes you feel. You know, inhale the air, smell the air, smell the trees that are around you, um, and just touch stuff like this. You know, actually touch it, feel it, think about how it feels. And what that does is the brain then stops focusing on other things. They're still there, obviously, but they but they become less prevalent in your mind so you start you know taking notice of what's going on around you that's the idea whether i've explained it properly or not i don't know but uh, it works for me there's plenty of stuff online on youtube about headspace definitely works 
but as with anything like that you have to give it time to work you have to want it to and uh, just go with it anyway we'll stop soon for a brew uh, it's getting a bit chilly so I'm at the end of the grass landing strip at Stowe Mari's and uh, there's lots of shouting lots of guns going off and uh, thankfully that doesn't bother me but I'm going to try and stay away from that as much as I can it looks like somebody's been here already and uh, would have been nice if they'd cleared up but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk away from the sound of the gunfire and uh, out onto the side of this field and just wander down As you look down that way, you're looking down towards South Woodham Ferrers and the River Crouch down there as well. I'm going to have to be careful because uh, the sounds of shotguns fairly close. I guess they're out hunting or uh, or just doing bird scaring but uh, I'll uh, keep my wits about me and just find somewhere to sit down for a little bit I've come across the guys with the shotguns they're uh, just one small field over just gone back on myself slightly and uh, let's see whether you can hear them Okay, let's definitely this time go and find somewhere to have a sit down. Well, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, last time I was here during the summer, I uh, came over for a walk and uh, none of this was here, so they're obviously growing something. I'm guessing the video's not doing this justice, but uh, it's actually starting to get dark now and the phone is making the best of it that it can. Let me uh, just stand up and uh, show you a little bit around. 
the shotguns are finished now and uh, all that's left out here is me, the Trangier burner and the Stanley cook pot. Water's taking a little bit of time to heat up and it took a while to get the Trangier going um, but it is a bit cold and they said that you don't need one of those Trangier heaters in this country. I think they're wrong. <laughs> but um, I've cleaned the Trangier. It should work fine. Um, but it's bloody freezing. Right, time to put my hands back in my pockets, I think. The log's dry, but uh, I just want to keep my arse warm. Cheers everyone. Bloody hell that's hot. Well the light's pretty much gone now, even though the phone's making up for it as much as it can. It's actually getting quite dark. Um, a lady came up to me just now, she lives on one of the farms nearby, and she was telling me that uh, the spot that I'm at now used to have a farmhouse just here and, and I had no idea. When you go around the other side of these bushes you can see a few bricks and pieces of red slate etc in the, gra in the grass and the mud but um, no idea there was a house here. It burnt down in about 1920 just before or well, just after the uh, Royal Flying Corps turned up at the top there. That gap in between the trees is pretty much the end of the airstrip but uh, she said there was a farmhouse here and, the, and uh, back then of course the, uh, the nearby town didn't even exist so it was very remote here and if you look down there's a little pond there and it's uh, now all overgrown but it was where the ducks were and the farmyard animals used it for drinking and the farm actually took their drinking water supply from it as well so interesting Amazing what you've got right under your feet and you don't know it's here. Well, I'm going to finish my coffee and I'm going to get back to the car. Hands are frozen. So for now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Hopefully this has inspired you to get out into the countryside, brew yourself up a coffee or a tea and just expand your head. Have a head stretch.